Good afternoon, everybody. This is February 21st, 2023. And today's video is about something that I've covered a little bit sporadically in other videos. But I wanted to list my... And I know this is difficult. This is difficult for me because I do love this bike a lot. But just for the viewer that might be interested in a bike like this, a scooter like this, or a motorbike, or whatever you want to call it, <laughs> if, if there's any pet peeves, I'm going to list them now. I don't know if this car is waiting on me. Sorry. Hang on. Appreciate that. Ooh, it's a little chilly out here. Always chilly. So anyway, I guess if I were to, and this was hard for me because I had to really search my brain. It is rush hour, so that's why there's a lot of people around kind of hard to talk when you have constant traffic around you this is like a subdivision but there's still a lot of traffic I'll go this way um but anyway so my pet peeves and I had to really think about this before I, I had to write it down and think about you know what I would change and a pet peeve is just simply an inconvenience and it's all based upon the individual like what bothers me on this bike might not bother other folks at all so I wanted to list my pet peeves, if, and it was hard, again, to really think of that many of them. But I would say, and I have a cheat sheet here with notes in case I have to reference it, but the first pet peeve, if I had to choose one, I would say would be the key fob access. Um, just had a comment yesterday, in fact, that uh, a gentleman was telling me an example of where he, uh, lock, you know, got went somewhere I guess riding on his uh, scooter and went to start the bike and and it wouldn't work the key fob wouldn't work so there you go perfect example of that I'm not sure if he had the blue coupler that I talked about in another video and gave the directions on how to get into the bike with the emergency key and the, uh, all that jazz but without going into detail I have a video on that you can check out but yeah the key fob process I am not a fan of this I would be happy with a standard key where you just turn the key and turn the ignition this key fob deal it, I can see the benefit of a uh, convenience factor but at the same time what's the deal if you just carry a little key and on your keychain or something and throw it right in there you know so I don't know I guess Honda and a lot of manufacturers are going to that key fob uh, convenience factor thing, but I'm not a fan of it because when it when it doesn't work right, then it's a major hassle. It really is. Um, thankfully, it's never happened to me yet, um, and I hope it never does. But you know, if it if it's came down to where that was happening a lot for me, I would probably. Honestly, I would probably buy something else with, that had a standard key. So I don't think it's a big deal where it happens a lot to people. Just make sure your key fob always has a fresh battery, the, the little CR2032 wafer batteries. Um, change them out. I mean, hell, they're easy enough to buy. You can buy them in like a six pack or eight pack off Amazon fairly cheaply. And you can change them out. Um, once a year just to be safe because the last thing you want to do is is you know take a trip and not and park and not be able to start your um motorbike that would be a pain in the butt and the, I've, I've had questions where uh, that's happened to people and they've inboxed me um trying to get information on how to get their bike started like how to get into the under the seat and use the uh fob or the emergency key and all that so it it happens but it's only been a few times since I've had my channel, so it's not <laughs> it's not a common occurrence. So, yeah, the key fob would be number one um, pet peeve of mine, and I've I've beat that horse dead for a, a while on that issue, as you know if you follow my channel. But again, I, I have to admit it it's not happened to me yet. Okay, so that's one pet peeve. I would say. Another pet peeve, if I had to find one on this on this motorbike, would be, uh, I'm gonna go straight, would be um, the seat comfort. And again, 
the seat is is okay for some people but I after I've had trips on this where I've ridden with groups and stuff where I was on this for hours you know like half a day and after about an hour on this seat uh, yeah it starts to make the buttocks very very uncomfortable at least to me um, so again other folks say that the seat doesn't bother them so again a pet peeve is based on individuality but if I rode this for a daily commuter and I spent a lot of time taking trips on it and riding across the country I probably wouldn't do it on a bike like this but if I did first thing I would do is upgrade this seat and you can get a nice Corbin seat and there's other third-party manufacturers that makes great seats for this bike that people have um, purchased and, and uh, talked about so you can find them out there okay um, it's just it's hard it's not it's not as very forgiving I would say and maybe it's for design that way but uh, yeah that that that's a pet peeve of mine but thankfully I'm not on this thing all day long I just I use mine as just a little uh, thing to get out and about on and re reduce stress and get out and into the elements like I'm doing now and uh, I don't I don't use it for commuting but I don't know if anyone else has that seat issue where it's it's pretty uncomfortable after about an hour on it but if you do let me know in the comments but that would be mine you know so I got the key fob I got the seat comfort um, and I probably have to look at my notes to because it was really hard for me to def to uh, find a lot of issues with this bike because it's a great bike and I don't want to this video is not a bashing of the ADV 150 it's just you know it's just an awareness if you are looking for a machine like this um, and you want to I'm gonna go left here I don't know what this car is waiting on maybe me let's see sorry about that hey. oh no just sitting at the stop sign anywho uh, so yeah that would be a couple of them I'm trying to think of another pet peeve I think another one is the the floorboard see how see the floorboard here um, so it doesn't have pegs on it so what you what happens is when you're riding this thing you your feet it they're kind of up you know your legs are bent the floorboard I it would be nice if this bike had something where I don't know maybe you had some extenders or something where you can you know put the legs out a little bit to get some straight not my inseam is very short compared to a lot of people I think I have like a 30 inch 29 or 30 inch inseam right so I'm not a tall guy so I can imagine somebody really tall might have an issue with being on kind of a little cramped or uncomfortable with the seat you know let me show you so on this bike you have you have the floor the floorboards now you can put your feet up here but I don't really ride like that too much I basically just keep them down here and you know when you do that it's it's just a feeling that you kind of feel like you're you're sitting on something with uh, limited space for your feet in other words so that would be another one um, trying to think what else but it's not a major deal this bike just something like this guy it's it's not really in my opinion anyway something that you would ride on all day long um, I mean it's a great bike it looks sharp and it, it's more for cat and round and you know things like that where you just hop on hop off if you're a food delivery person or you live in a country or area where you can use this as a commuter that's great you know that's what it's designed for so you gotta you gotta weigh the um let's see the you know, there we go you gotta weigh the con you gotta weigh the the priorities of why you would buy a motorbike like this so you kind of know going in and that's one of the reasons for this video so make sure see I can I can ride this thing with my feet on the top of the floorboards here and stretch them straight out but if you're taller you may not be have that luxury you know because you got that hump on the back of the seat so I've I've been in a lot of forums and 
like on Facebook groups where people have replaced the seat to get rid of that hump in the back on the stock seat so they could sit back further on the bike and that therefore they could uh, stretch their legs out a little farther cool so that's about three pet peeves what else what else it's like a whole line of traffic here for some odd reason holy chabizish yeah I should probably break my notes out but those are a couple of them and again they're not huge things um, it is very light and nimble but sometimes uh, I guess another pet peeve would be the power on this thing and granted it doesn't bother me because I don't like to ride real fast but if you're looking for a motorbike that you expect to be riding on highways a lot and you want to get something that's going to be going 60 65 miles an hour on a regular basis every day this is probably not the the bike that you would want to choose because it's only 150 cc and even though i can get a max speed of probably 65 all day long you're you're at full throttle and you have no room for quick ability to pass or anything you know so be careful with that and i don't really consider the uh the speed issue of being a pet peeve it's just something i wanted to mention um you know just because you have to be aware and i say this in a lot of videos if you buy a bike like this you got to be you kind of have to know the application first why you want this thing and i don't know why anybody would buy a bike like this and then then try to figure out hey what's the top speed of this anyway because of course they didn't do their homework because if you do your homework and you research this kind of stuff before you buy it um you would already know that max speed is probably about 65 67 miles per hour you know anyway that's just people that buy things spur of the moment and they don't do a lot of planning they eye candy they see it in the showroom oh i gotta hit one of those you know and they buy it then they figure out oh that's not fast enough for my liking you know so the, there's people like that what can you do so i got my cheat sheet out here let me just look at my notes um, what did I put down for pet peeves? You know, when you get out here and you start riding the bike, you really quickly forget of what you want to talk about because you have all these distractions and stuff and cars everywhere all the time, like now. <laughs> um, but yeah, I put on here back support because with this seat, you kind of have a, I don't know, you feel like you're sitting up straight. I mean, it's a, it's a posture thing. You know, when you're on a cruiser motorbike, you have the luxury of back support where you can kind of just lean in, you know, lean back and enjoy the ride. My back gets a little tired um, when I ride this thing for too long. Now, they do make seats that have a better back support to them, but, but the back support only goes up about six inches. It's not like it's um, going to get the mid part of the back, you know, so that, that I don't know if those even work. I've been trying to consider if I should get a seat like that but I really don't know if it's going to make much difference you know what I mean so careful with that pet peeve is just the sitting position and again none of these pet peeves are major deal breakers they're just things that I have to mention and I'm, I'm being very nitpicky on this right now just trying to find things that would be something I can list you know what I mean but no I think it's important like I said for anyone who is considering a bike like this to understand all these things before you buy it i got seat comfort key fob floorboards top speed back support the upright sitting position um so yeah lightweight because this thing soaking wet is like 300 pounds or less less actually it's right under 300 pounds with all stock parts this could be something very easily um able to be stolen and picked up and put into a, a bed of a truck with a couple strong guys because it doesn't weigh that much so I would say not that it's a huge deal but theft would probably be something that I would worry about a little bit more than uh, like a heavier bike look at these John Deere's that's cool yeah but again it's not it's not anything i really worry about i don't really go to a lot of places and park this thing and walk around very long with nobody not attending to it i hardly ever do that on this thing but just because it's so light i would say that is always in the back of my mind for for a possible 
um, somebody coming and just picking it up. So if you do park with this thing and you leave it alone, you want to make sure you have some type of motion alarm on it, which you can buy on eBay. Um, you can buy those on Amazon and they sync with your phone or what the best thing is is get some type of locking lanyard or chain where you can chain it to something solid where it would be more of a deterrent than anything um they also make those sensors that you can mount on this bike like hidden somewhere underneath the frame or something that is a um like a gps mobility tracker type things so if you're going to be on your bike or off your bike a lot and you leave it alone for uh, a lot of times you may want to get a tracker and, and somehow affix it to this bike that's what i would do but i never leave this thing I, if i do go to the gas station i might run in there for um you know a couple minutes but then i'm right back on the bike so but it doesn't take long i mean hell if somebody's following you and you're like hey let's go wait for this guy to park you know it doesn't take long to have somebody come by and just put this in a truck bed real quick you know so that's that and i think that's about it i don't really have again too many issues with this thing honestly and that's why it was hard for me to even to pick those what four or five things that i mentioned but just just be aware of that now that's about it guys i just wanted to go over those real quick and again uh what are your pet peeves you have anything that you find a little irritating on this bike what is it let me know in the comments because it's going to probably differ from me you know it's going to be because it's all based on individuality like i said a pet peeve is an individual thing and it is getting chilly so i'm going to call it quits the sun's starting to go down and it's uh very windy and now in two days from now it's going to be damn near 80 degrees so i might get out here and do another video in about two days from now but right now still a little chilly can't wait for spring anyway guys thanks for checking it out let me know in the comments like i said what you find irritating if anything and that's about all i got no feet no feet Let's see if i can do this oh i had to put my foot down oh well Okay, man, that sun goes down and gets cold quick.